Have you ever wondered why the Abrams MPT tank is considered one of the most formidable battle machines in the world? It's no small feat and the answer lies in the concept of main battle tanks or MBTs. These are not just any tanks, they're the heavy hitters of modern combat designed to take on and take out enemy forces with unmatched firepower and armor protection. MBTs are the evolution of earlier tank designs, a culmination of lessons learned from centuries of warfare. They combine the best of all tank classes, offering the speed of light tanks, the firepower of heavy tanks and the armor protection of super heavy tanks. But don't let their brutish exterior fool you beneath their steel hides. MBTs are marvels of engineering, integrating sophisticated technology and systems designed to give them the edge on the battlefield. Now let's dive into the history of one of the most renowned MBTs, the Abrams MPT tank. The Abrams MBT tank didn't just appear out of thin air, it has a rich history and lineage. Behemoth of the battlefield has roots that stretch back to the height of the Cold War where the concept of main battle tanks, or MBTs, was born. MBT was a response to the escalating arms race, a versatile war machine that could take on a variety of roles on the battlefield. It was a blend of the best elements of light, medium and heavy tanks, packing the firepower of the latter but with the mobility and agility of the former. One of the Abrams' direct ancestors was the ambitious MBT-70 project. This joint venture between the United States and West Germany in the late 60s aimed to create a next-generation tank that could outmatch anything the Soviet Union had to offer. The MBT-70 boasted revolutionary features such as a hydropneumatic suspension system, a low-profile design, and a powerful 152mm gun launcher. However, the MBT-70 project was fraught with technical difficulties and cost overruns. It was ultimately cancelled in 1971, but it wasn't a complete loss. Lessons learned from the MBT-70 were carried over to the development of the XM-803, which would eventually evolve into the M1 Abrams we know today. The Abrams tank was named after General Creighton Abrams, a distinguished tank commander during World War II and later the Army Chief of Staff. The first M1 Abrams rolled off the production line in 1979, sporting a 105mm gun, state-of-the-art composite armour and a gas turbine engine, a first for a production tank. Over the years, the Abrams has been continually upgraded, with improvements to its firepower, protection and electronics to keep it at the cutting edge of tank technology. Abrams MBT tank was not born overnight, the result of decades of innovation, trial and error, and lessons learned from its predecessors. It's a testament to the relentless pursuit of perfection in the field of armored warfare. With such a robust foundation, the Abrams MBT tank was destined for greatness. The real test of any battle machine is in the heat of conflict, and for the Abrams MPT tank, that was the Gulf War. In the year 1991, the Abrams MPT tank found itself at the heart of Operation Desert Storm, the combat phase of the Gulf War, as the United States led a coalition against Iraq. The Abrams proved itself to be a formidable force on the battlefield. The Abrams MPT tank's role in the Gulf War was pivotal. Its primary mission was to engage and destroy enemy forces using its impressive firepower and superior mobility. And it did just that, wreaking havoc on enemy lines with its 120mm smoothbore gun. The tank's effectiveness was unquestionable. With its advanced targeting system, the Abrams could accurately hit targets over two miles away, even while moving at high speed. This gave the coalition forces a significant edge in the desert terrain. Not only could the Abrams outgun its opponents, but its superior speed and maneuverability also allowed it to outflank them. But perhaps the most crucial factor in the Abrams' success was its durability. Thanks to its composite Chobham armor, the Abrams could withstand direct hits from enemy tanks and anti-tank missiles. Many Abrams tanks were hit multiple times, but only a few were destroyed. This resilience allowed the Abrams to stay in the fight longer and inflict heavy damage on enemy forces. The impact of the Abrams on the outcome of the Gulf War was substantial. Its superior firepower, speed and durability made it a game-changer on the battlefield, helping the coalition forces achieve a decisive victory. The Abrams MPT tank's performance in the Gulf War was a testament to its design and engineering, demonstrating the power and effectiveness of modern main battle tanks.
The Abrams MPT tank proved its mettle in the Gulf War, setting a new standard for MBTs. Its performance under fire underscored the importance of advanced engineering and technology in modern warfare, cementing its place in military history. Fast forward to today, and the Abrams MPT tank still holds a place of honor in the world of MBTs. The Abrams MPT tank has not only survived but thrived, maintaining its reputation as a formidable force on the battlefield. It is currently in service with the military forces of several nations, including the United States, Australia and Egypt, among others. This international deployment is testament to the Abrams' reliability and adaptability, capable of serving in diverse climates and terrain. In the United States alone, the Abrams MPT tank forms the backbone of the armoured forces. The tank's modern-day status is further solidified by continual upgrades, keeping it on par with, if not ahead of, other MBTs in the global arena. The latest version, the M1A2 SEP-V4, is equipped with a system enhancement package that includes an improved armor package and a more powerful 120mm smoothbore gun. But the Abrams MPT tank isn't just about firepower. It's also about protection and survivability. The tank features an advanced armor system, which has been continually upgraded over the years. Today's Abrams tank is also equipped with an active protection system that can intercept and destroy incoming enemy fire before it reaches the tank. In comparison with other modern MBTs, the Abrams holds its own. Its combination of firepower, protection and mobility is well respected within military circles. While newer designs like the Russian T-14 Armata and the Chinese Type 99 boast advanced technologies, the Abrams MPT tank is not to be underestimated. Its proven track record and continual upgrades ensure that it remains a relevant and potent force on the battlefield. So where does this leave the Abrams MPT tank? It's clear that it's not going anywhere soon. The tank's continual evolution, coupled with its proven performance in combat, ensures its place within the pantheon of modern MBTs. It is a testament to the enduring power of good design and continual improvement. Clearly, the Abrams MPT tank is more than just a piece of machinery, it's a symbol of power and strategic prowess. Behind the Abrams MPT tank's formidable reputation is some truly insane engineering. Let's dive into the nuts and bolts of this mechanical beast, shall we? First off, the heart of the Abrams MPT tank is its gas turbine engine. Unlike traditional diesel engines used in many tanks, this turbine engine offers several advantages. It's not only lighter but also quieter, making the tank stealthier on the battlefield. Plus, it provides a remarkable power-to-weight ratio enabling the 60-ton Abrams to move at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. Now let's talk about its armor. The Abrams MPT tank employs a unique blend of composite armor that includes ceramics and high-hardness steel. This combination results in an incredibly robust defensive shield that can withstand a wide range of attacks, but the armor doesn't stop there. The Abrams also features reactive armor, which explodes outward upon impact, significantly reducing the penetrating power of incoming projectiles. Next up is the tank's fire control system. This sophisticated piece of technology allows the Abrams MPT tank to hit targets accurately while on the move. It uses a laser rangefinder, thermal imaging, and a powerful computer to calculate the perfect shot, even at night or in poor visibility conditions. Then there's the tank's suspension. The Abrams uses a high-performance hydropneumatic suspension system. This delivers excellent off-road mobility and provides a smoother ride for the crew, even when traversing rough terrain at high speeds. And finally, we have the tank's modular design. The Abrams MPT tank is built with interchangeable parts, making it easier to repair and upgrade. This approach not only extends the tank's lifespan, but also allows for continual improvements as new technology becomes available. The Abrams MPT tank is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of engineering. It's a perfect blend of speed, power and survivability. Its insane engineering is what has kept it at the forefront of armoured warfare for over four decades. And it doesn't look like it's going to be dethroned anytime soon. So from the concept of MBTs to the modern day Abrams MPT tank, we've journeyed through time and technology. We've delved into the past, exploring the origins of main battle tanks, their evolution, and how the Abrams MPT tank emerged as a successor to its predecessors like the MBT-70. We saw the significance of the Abrams MPT tank in the Gulf War, a testament to its robust design and strategic prowess. 
In today's context, the Abrams MPT tank still stands tall, continually adapting and evolving to meet the demands of modern warfare. Its insane engineering from its powerful turbine engine to its advanced armor system makes it a formidable force on the battlefield. But it's important to remember the Abrams MPT tank is more than just steel, power and technology. It's a symbol of innovation, resilience and strategic brilliance. Next time you see the Abrams MPT tank, remember it's not just a tank, it's a marvel of modern engineering.